you know, you've been a dear friend of mine for a while now, but in this last couple of months when I have been, you know, I guess <laughs> diving into the abyss of depression uh, and alcoholism, you were one of the key people that helped me out of it and gave me the, the resolve to turn my life around and certainly like switch my mindset up and get back on the good foot. So um, first and foremost, I want to thank you for helping me rediscover myself um and i have to give a big shout out to my friend jake snufnarowski as well who was a guest on this show a few weeks back if you haven't heard that episode please check it out it doesn't matter at all if you've never heard of him he's a new york legend in his own right but just as a human being you'd be hard pressed right jesse to find a more inspirational character and human being yeah you could write a book about that dude and he's just a total sweetheart but he definitely put you up against the wall was like called you out on your shit i loved it and you were like all right fair deal <laughs> i love it but that's what friends do you know to me the, there's no effort in, in that this friendship there's no effort there i mean i'm just being who i am to you because that's who you are to me and i think that's how friendship should be you know it shouldn't be something that takes so much effort friendship is a beautiful thing because it's a two-way street you know I, I know you definitely do the same for me and even though we don't really ever see each other in flesh this mm -hmm. friendship has developed so much just from this podcast and it's incredible and i love that people can see that if you go back and watch our earlier episodes till now like we've just been good friends on camera with guests it's amazing because it's effortless and that's that's a beautiful thing man so it's my honor and i'm so glad i'm so proud of you man it seems like you're you're living life to the fullest just take the alcohol out of the equation and i think a lot of people have this misconstrued notion of you know, and I'm not sober, but I have definitely reduced alcohol to a afterthought in my life. Uh, and I was able to do that through a tour and through my vacation. And we'll get into that in a minute, but it doesn't have to be a bummer. Like people who are party people think that life is a bummer when you stop doing this thing that's, you know, potentially a problem in your life. And that's not just not true. You develop a whole different relationship with yourself and with other people and with activities that you would normally associate having to have a drink with. You put that aside and your brain goes other places. You find a whole, and you know, I'm sure you can pick this up, you find a whole new appreciation for life. And I love that. It's beautiful. It's very obvious that you're going through that right now. <laughs> Bring on the light, just 